Plus, um, I don't know if you use it. All right, here we are. <laughs> I'm waiting Excuse for you. To, I'm waiting for you to do it. <laughs> Get the time here. This is Ether Dynamics here with TC Casanova. Hey. Dive into his playthrough. All right, sir. <laughs> okay, so I I am using all of Ether Dynamics uh, mods. And uh, plus some other shit that I think would be interesting to see how it interacts with it. And uh, keep in mind, uh, why don't you take a screenshot to see how shitty it looks for you? Because <laughs> uh, I, I, I have I have him at like 15 FPS looking at like four, 400 something. It's like, okay, so here's a, here's a different start, by the way. I always use this one. I... I uh, the name slips by, but I'll put I'll put a mod list because this there's not too many mods here. But um, let's see what race I'll do. I love that background. That's awesome. Yeah, it's actually a lot more in the background though. I'll I'll show you. Um, I haven't been done an Ar Argonian character since like PlayStation Three days. So. Oh gosh, yeah. How do Argonians name themselves? I forget. They have some interesting. I don't want to just name him like Lizard Boy or something. <laughs> <laughs> Squizzard, right with it now. Squizzard, it is. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Self-inflicted wound, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's some website that has this uh, randomizer of like a zillion names depending on your character name and background. It's all like ESO official. You know, like some someone actually went through the trouble of making this huge name library and you can randomize that stuff and uh i actually had someone very upset with me because i didn't use that as a standard for like some imperial or nor like, that's not an imperial <laughs> name i'm like uh that's not an imperial okay. name this person's list doesn't have it right. yes and you're in the okay whatever right yeah okay, <laughs> okay dude all right oh uh, you want you want to are you able to read this or can you even see the little words Give you an idea. The top word I assume is welcome, and that's the best <laughs> I can do, right? This is the uh, like it's it is. Welcome. Right this now. is the plain of Lorcan, where all things are born, including you. You will find an amount of gold on you, with which to start your adventures. If you wish to clothe yourself, you may want to speak with Shazar. There are also others in this plain who may help equip you for your journeys. To leave this plane, touch one of the several glowing gems. Each will take you to a different place in Skyrim. I wish you great adventures, and above all, have fun and enjoy. That was an awesome read over there. Thank you. Thank you. That's That means a lot coming from you. Oh, gosh. Hello, my eagle liar. <gasps> <laughs> you are not worth it. <laughs> he said you are not worth it. I'm not even sure if you could read the subtitles. Yeah, uh, anything that's not in the like the larger kind of like the item description there. Uh, so yeah, I can read at the very bottom. That's, that's barely that's on the edge of legible. That's like Atari 2600 graphics, and I know I'm dating myself by even mentioning that as a system that I have seen in my life, right? Uh, yeah, like some of the oldest, some of the oldest I even know is like Game Gear. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So, I mean... Leave Orc uh, Bloodkin faction. Join Orc Bloodkin. I'm an Argonian. Why would I be part of the... I guess there's some lore. I could join the Falmer. This basically lets you start the game any way you want. Yeah, this is freaking rad. I, I've seen people do uh, all these playthroughs with the, you know, the random start. You're not in the cart. You're not necessarily... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I got tired of random start because it's still the same thing. You're just in a different place. This adds a whole new location. I'm going to take this sword even though I shouldn't because it doesn't probably... I can choose a class. Acrobat. 5% faster movement and reflect 20% of melee damage and stamina regeneration. This is so well done. I know. It's a, I think it's... Yeah, it's Realm of Lorcan. That's what it is. Okay, okay. Activate the voice of the sky. Animals do not attack nor flee from you. That's an interesting one. I'll be a. You have been given a boon. Voice of the sky out it. You are a friend of animals. I can be a healer. I've never enjoyed playing a healer, but um, I'll, I'll probably do some sort of magic build because you've uh, bestowed Squizzard upon me. So. <laughs> oh God. You know, as much as I'd want to uh, dodge credit for that particular suggestion, I, it's no, I, I have to take full responsibility for what I have wrought, right? There's, I think these smaller ones are usually like types of 
of curses and stuff, and these ones are weird blessings, I guess. Uh, curse of Magical Adversity. Spells cost 20% more, but also level up 20% faster. Hmm. This is really interesting. Um, and, Mage, and honestly, more Magicka, faster Magic. Generation. Oh, is, this a, is this a bard? Oh, wow. Higher speech. Boon of the Locksmith. Bardic Knowledge. Would that allow me... Huh. Is that like a... I kind of want that, even though it doesn't... I sh probably shouldn't just take shit, because... Oh, it's fine. Summon a spectral drum that plays for 300 seconds, improving stamina regen for you and nearby allies. That's cool. I'm gonna steal that spell from the heavens, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at all the no, things, but I guess I'll I guess I'll take the mage because that's the most magic-related thing. I thought there would be like different branches of mage, but I have learned a class. Soul famine, boon of the soul reaver, enchanted weapons capture 10% soul. I think I have never play a magic playthrough ever, so thank you for giving me a reason to. <laughs> <laughs> my my horrible name suggestion, yes. I'm glad <laughs> something good will become it. You know, eventually. Boon of the cat, half fall it. damage. Oh, that could be interesting. That feels somewhat cheaty, but what do you think? What do you think? Should should Squizzard be also cat like? <laughs> Well, you know, I guess the, the lizards are, are kind of uh, feral and agile, so that wouldn't hurt too bad. All right. I guess you don't hear the sounds. It has some really good music and sound effects for this place. Oh, unfortunately, no. Um, oh, that's it's a shame it's lost on you. I, I could, I could, I guess it's a little bit late to do it now, but I could, um, wait, what was this? Slow time plus 20% when aiming, bows plus 10 physical damage. Oh, but then I'll just end up being a stealth archer again. <laughs> the greatest seduction of all classes in this game is always stealth archer, right? Yeah. Join Draugr faction. How does that work? <laughs> Just to kick your body, right? Yeah, I could be I could be Squizzard the Draugr Lord. I could join the Falmer, or I could... These seem to be enemy factions that I can join. What's this? Join the Warlock Ooh. faction. I could... I could be the Bandit Great. faction. What's the Lorcon chest? I'm taking it anyway. I think Argonians can breathe underwater anyway, but I can sell this <laughs> shit probably, so... Yeah, exactly. Honestly, the, the one boon that you picked up, that animal friendship, yeah. or call or spell, or whatever it is, that's going to be huge if you interact with the druids, because unless you get Kind's token, a thing that changes their behavior, where if you're oh, yeah, yeah, that, a wild animal... Oh yeah, the, the one with on the on the gray, gray beard's Mountain, if you get all those things. The Shadow Stone. I also get to choose a stone here if I want to. Um, let me see, I'll probably get the... I'll probably get a, one of the magic ones. The Serpent Stone's pretty cool, but... Also, um, you want to see something scary? Look at that. <laughs> ah! Oh, you can see his legs! That's so funny. Yeah, I got a body. I didn't get a mod for Argonian feet, but humans have hyper-realistic feet because I thought that would be funny. <laughs> oh, that is cute. It's hysterical, yeah. Um, the Mage Stone. Uh, we'll learn all magic skills 20% faster. That seems interesting enough. There's also a whole building in there. There's a whole bunch of whole bunch of lore for this place. It's not just a magic place with no context, but you can choose it to be if you don't look into the lore, I guess. So. Um, the seed stone's always pretty useful. Also, these things let me choose a starting location. Here's Blackreach. I could start in Blackreach. That would be an interesting... Oh, um, let me see. What do I have? Um, oh, yeah, I do have this mod. I wonder if I can start that now. Okay. I am an immortal. I just arrived in Skyrim. And that's based off a series called Highlander, if you've ever heard of it. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love that series <laughs> so much. That was That's that's a really old school I know movie it. from back in the day. Like, I am immortal. I have right. inside me blood of kings. Yeah. <laughs> I remember the first one, and then I guess in the second one, they changed the background lore where it made no sense. And my friend yeah. was really into it, and then like was so angry about how they were <laughs> What they did with the sequel. I think like Sean Connery was in it or something. Um, Sean Connery. I have Sean. I have Sean Connery. Uh, <laughs> is there anything special in the center here? These things? Are these anything? No, it's just fire. What's under here? It's just a void. That's scary. So you get hand in there. I don't worry about running out of breath. I'm an Argonian. Yeah. 
Wow, fake fake Skyrim fan doesn't know our guardians can breathe underwater. I, I said I said at least you don't have to worry about running out of breath down there. Oh, uh, I thought you said you're gonna run out of breath, like. <laughs> little, little chunky, uh, little, uh, I'm, I'm trying to find some. I'm trying to find some spells to start with. I want to have because I don't even have like fire. Who are you? What can I do for you? I mean, honestly, I'm not. I don't consider myself some like lore master of this thing. I only, <laughs> I only got into this series when Skyrim came out, and I saw how easy it was to mod it. My my friend actually uh, had this extended campaign where he was like, "You gotta get this game." I'm like, ah, I've, "I've played these before, you know, I've done it." And he's like, "No, no, no!" Like, he really pushed it. And uh, I'm glad he did, because because um, if you guys don't know, either Dynamics is the one uh, behind a lot of crazily good mods like uh like enhanced AI and organic factions and all that. And he has some other mods for the original Skyrim, but I'm playing on Skyrim Special. Because this was... I was planning to do this multiplayer, but I uh, I, I didn't understand that, uh, that uh, you know, either Dynamics has a potato, so... <laughs> <laughs> and and that, that's very flattering. Thank you, thank you so much. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, I, I, I do, I've I been doing, you know, modding for other games before, yeah, just minor stuff here and there. Um, and, yeah, like, like I said before, unfortunately, my, my main rig... Uh, one Microsoft update and some other issues came up and and uh, it just got annihilated. So I'm on a backup potato right now and take uh, a serious amount of time for me to get all my environments reinstalled. So I'm just limping on the potato for the time being. I got every every single sub here is a is a million dollars for either dynamics. <laughs> I I there's no proof of that claim, but uh, you're welcome to believe me. Actually, you know, I, I don't have a Patreon. People have been inquiring about that, and I'd love to set thing up. I've done some, some uh, you know, shared charity links for, you know, for stuff like the Salk Institute, stuff that, that's like uh, charity work to prevent cancer in children, just that, that kind of stuff before. But, uh, hey, give me a link to that, and I'll put that in the description, too. Sure, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I'm not finding any spells. Um, my quest is telling me that I should go here. What is this? Falk Reef? Is that where the quest is, or is it just saying the, or is that just the mark as the main way to get out of here? Because you can never tell with Skyrim's AI pathing. Oh, I think, I think wow. I remember where that is. The Burnout Caravan. Uh, it's on the west side of Falk Reef. I think north of. Um, what does my, what does my quest say? Ask Joe if he has any information on local immortals. I guess I should, I should have chose a, a warrior class so I could have swords to chop heads with. But I mean. Oh, these guys look cool. I guess you don't get it. I don't. You don't see the quality because you're getting 15 FPS and all that. But, but um, don't it's not that bad. I mean, like, like uh. But that guy. Just a bit. I just. Oh, here's here. Okay, here's all the spells. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet. I'm. I think. I think. Uh, Black Reach would is a really cool sounding place to start. I just want to find some armor and then you know. Joe's note. Oh, this is Joe's note. Greetings. I have been watching you for some time. You are a uniquely skilled individual of a limitless potential. I believe our objectives for this world align. As I am not able-bodied anymore due to taking arrows to, <laughs> to the knees in Vietnam, <laughs> a little-known region in Southeast Black Marsh, I would like... Wow. Did you hear that? I am not able-bodied anymore due to taking arrows to the knees in Vietnam, a little-known region in Southeast Black Marsh. <laughs> wow. Uh... With an opportunity to achieve great power and enter a secret world unknown to all but a select few. Please meet me in the Winking Skeever in solitude. I will leave you with some parting words. From the dawn of time they came, moving silently through the centuries, living many secret lives, struggling to reach the time of the gathering, when the last few who remain will battle to the last. Joseph Dawson. I, I didn't want to read it again. Alright, here we go. Also, if you can't tell, the menu is is unpaused. But I mean, I also have it. I also made it so it's it's not just completely unpaused. It slows because I thought that would be more fair. I think um, I don't know if it's The Witcher, but there are some other oh. games that. Ooh. The, uh, Here's the Mage's wardrobe. Maybe it's more a uh, more effect. Um, yeah, but I, I know Doom does it. Like, like when you pause in Doom, it kind of slows things. It doesn't completely pause it, it just slows things down a bit too. And yeah, I agree that kind of vision time uh, shouldn't be a, a free out necessarily for players, right? Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think you should. I don't think you should be able to pause like to and be God. But I also don't think that you should be able to like get accidentally 
like stabbed and murked like 57 times while reading a single page. Right. right. So I mean, I think I think I've made it fair enough, and uh, I'm gonna drop these extra copies because yeah, they can. Oh, that's a cool effect. Let's see. Look at that. Um, it slow everything so um i'm not going to be using any of these i'm probably what actually what type of mage should i be i'm just a general mage i guess that's why they didn't give me a class but i don't have to be a destruction mage i could be something else it doesn't have to be a firm choice right now but i mean like uh what would what would squizzard be <laughs> would squizzard well, do I'd alteration least... or conjuration illusion well, let's see uh that the way illusion works in the game can eat like there's this kind of this threshold where once you cross this yeah like everything like, and... everything that's everything after like level 15 you can't use any spells on basically there's this this hard line where basically uh because everything in the game auto levels the the line of your your efficacy constantly moves so of your low level spells that affect you know certain creatures and then as everything jumps up to be like 10 or 15 levels higher than it was suddenly those same spells don't do anything you have to learn the new ones but that and then actually there's no blue nothing. ones to learn yeah and, and, and it's very all or nothing because if you can frenzy anything basically you you never have to do combat in any kind of risky situation is so long as you can frenzy what's there there's no challenge right you just kind of sit back and you know you, you cook your popcorn and watch them dispatch each other and that's mm -hmm. it which is very uh, fun, then, but... Oh, yeah, no, don't get me wrong. Like, it's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's quite amusing. I, I mean, like, that's kind of one thing that got me into this, was I designed some NPCs where it would be intriguing. Like, seeing all... You know, yeah. seeing what Skyrim had to offer. And again, I, I don't want to be one of those guys that's like... Oh, okay. It's locator of Rorikstead. Oh. Hmm? Why do I get so close? <laughs> I'm, I'm like, my, my body is... Oh, my God, what's happening to me? Torsion thing. Yeah, there we go. It's <laughs> happening. What is happening? Spinal support. You want something from me? Oh. No, I Wait, don't. To be fair. <laughs> yes. What an expression on that guy. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's solitude. I could start the quest there if I wanted to, but um. Yeah. I mean, solitude does have just about everything that you need for. And also that stuff. that Highlander quest, I could start that. Um, what do you think? Should I start in solitude to get to get closer to the? Highlander quest, or should I, um, or should I uh, start in uh, Black Reach to have an interesting start? God, like, that's the big question, though. Is like, uh, how well will you survive? Are Are you gonna do a console command to advance your skills before you get there, or is this gonna be like level one? You're just you're just heading out. God, these guys look weird. I got a mod that makes them look odd because it, it was it, there was a mod that made them look weird. That was a necessary mod and to have installed to, for another mod. But Wait, torso is crazy elongated the whole print. yeah this it's like this is like a sunder creature look up it's look up it's heart <laughs> interesting mm -hmm. love the effect they had in the sprigates but yeah that particular one like that you could just see the distortion of the torso and stuff but yeah i guess the, the big question is are we going to do any, any uh skill advancement before you head into black reach because that's that could be awesome for getting loot and it could also be freaking brutal just because they well, they have giants they have Charis, Charis, I reset. I wasn't thinking like a uh, combat. I think it was like a, it would be like a great escape, like something gone wrong type of lore. Ah, okay, okay. I guess it's so long as you make it to that one tower where you, you don't have to have the device to unlock the staircase. Is that? I don't know what anyone's escaping right now. Hmm. Uh, I guess for the sake of this video, though, I don't, I don't know if I want to die. Um. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we start out we, speaking of dying like, maybe the immortal quest is a good thing to start so you don't have to worry about you know getting butchered just this is we're starting out I g um hmm. i'm an immortal so it'd be great to slow down people <laughs> i don't think any of these were for um destruction but um i can still wear one and it'll help my magic regenerate faster at least so you can also uh sell them in case you want to give yourself a little start for gold yeah stuff. definitely but that's a great point. Uh, back to the kind of angle you want to play on a... On a An ice game. lizard. Oh. Look at that foot. That is such a weird looking foot. Argonians have weird feet. I don't think that's a mod that did that. I just think Argonians have weird feet in vanilla and I didn't do anything to fix it. Yeah, I think Argonians and I know Snow Elves have some kind of weird skeleton issues in general. And It might be, it it might be part of some combat mod, but I can't jump while my arms are readied. Hmm. 
Oh, that's strange. Mm -hmm. Also, I have this. Uh, I have this one combat mod that I don't know if I should use. I sh I have. I have a sword on me, so I could still show it off if I need to against an immortal or something. But it will definitely make all those fights definitely more interesting. I'll take this bow in case I don't have one. But um, you think I should start the immortal quest? Oh, let's go for something that'll keep you alive, and then <laughs> once we have that secure, All we right. can wander around and. I was gonna get some funny loading screen mods, but just pretend this is funny, okay? <laughs> I've I barely even started yet, and we're already at 20 minutes. <laughs> hey, it's backstory. It's filling all the all the. Yeah, it's the it's Grand the Theory. lore. Only by signing the peace treaty known as the White Gold Concordat did the Empire bend down and lick the 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 feet of the elves. <laughs> Whoa. Oh god, I hear it. You can hear the sound of the, when there's an immortal close by. That's cool. Oh, I, I, unfortunately... Richie! Not I, where's he at? Is it... That's Richie Ryan. It's kind of Richie Ryan. It has silent dialogue, but... Oh, did you need some... I like wish nice, I, right? I, I could fight him, but I don't think I'll win. Until next time. I, I, I wish I could have Richie as a follower. That'd be nice. You, you Level one, people. yeah. You help people, right? Tricky. That's what you do. That guy's creepy looking. Ah, it's uh, what? Doesn't this guy turn out to be one of the servants Please, of Sheer Graf? Pity on her. My master has. I would explain that. Yeah, but it's weird. That's how that's already here. Me. He says I ain't. Lest I saw him. No. Oh, and you'll need the hip bone. It's very important. I'm not gonna do that no, mission really right now, but. Wing without right. that. Until next time. So, um, I do you know it's kind of funny. Oh what? Hey, sorry. What's up? I I, I didn't want to interrupt you. Go ahead. <laughs> um. Yeah, I can't jump while my arms are ready. That is, that's weird. Maybe it's only, maybe, oh, what's this guy want? Oh, shit. It's another immortal. Need something? Yes, Dragonborn, I've come for your head. What just happened? <laughs> A mission started? Never oh, shit. Ah! 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 <laughs> I think I need to Second chop this, right. You have to do that. Yeah. I'm not sure how to do it, actually. Hmm. Hope you don't need the perk, right? Oh, shit. I'm not sure. Oh, that's it. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, is it going to do an animation? Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's sick. There can, hat on, too. There can be see, only one. Who is the folks that put this together? That's really good stuff. Let's take your armor. I think I think I can be a I'll, I can be a a war mage. I can use I can use like I can use spells in one hand and a, and a weapon in the other, maybe. Yeah. Yep. Or I just switch to it if I need to. DD has what spell singers or something like that, and there's spell blades. I'm not actually sure. I... Well, I guess they're not so immortal after all, eh? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool how it teleports you to your own little realm, huh? All right, and we're back. It, I was so good at that fight that it crashed me, so I might have to do it again. But hey, at least now I know that I'm awesome. So uh... honestly, you, you basically just won the game. I mean, that's just yeah. the first ten minutes. Also, I guess that makes it a good. I, that makes it a good spot to end the first episode with one of the it, then the game crash jokes. So thank uh, yeah. you, game. <laughs> The, that uh, Benny Hill yakety sax background to show the uh, 
series of errors where the game crashes, or people get hung upside down from the wall, or like float in midair, or the, you know, the horse yeah. teleports through the ceiling kind of thing. You're an immortal. Oh. <laughs> you think I should fight him? Maybe he'll do something. Uh... I mean, I can't have him as a follower, so I'm not losing anything, right? He's oh, not looking for me, so let's see if I can beat him. He's probably going to be way strong, and I'm going to have to be stronger to beat him, but... Let's see, he might be scaled. The... Oh, oh, what the hell? Where the... Where am I? Oh, shit. There, there he is. Oh, okay. shit. Ah! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Ah! What was that? Shouted? Ah! And you're not... Yeah, you say you're, you're not equipped with your... Ah! Right oh, shit. Yeah, I'm Goodness, dead. sir. Me? There can be only one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess there's only one. <laughs> I'm not immortal. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I do wonder if the game actually has immortal mode turned on for you in the background. Like, it puts you in a quest that basically protects you from that kind of thing. I think they wanted to keep a balance in the game. I think they just made you have resistances to natural causes, but I... turns out I'm not immortal. <laughs> so, um, hopefully this guy, I'm going to try to, uh, oh God, it's Richie. Do I have to talk to him? I won't battle him, but I wonder if I have to talk to him or just stop the noise happening. Yes. Do we have business? You aren't from around here. You aren't, you aren't here for me, are you? not looking for you if you're not looking for me so i wonder if duncan mcleod of the clan mcleod is here or not <laughs> a final boss right maybe that's the maybe maybe i become duncan the the squizzard <laughs> i wonder I, I don't see that name making it to prime time but hey <laughs> <laughs> duncan squizzard of the clan Squizzard. Positions. still a better ending the game of thrones right why do i say positions what's going on <laughs> who said it who is that <laughs> Someone said positions. It was a guard voice. You should tell oh, us weird. Uncle is son that betrayed his high king. Best you know now, outlaw. Oh, there's oh, the. Rogvir, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King. Funny thing is, I've seen people interrupt this, right? They they do some summons, they shoot somebody, they I kill the executioner, whatever. Ulfric and no matter what you do, about two court. minutes later, this whoa. Uh, <laughs> I he doesn't deserve to speak. There was no murder. <laughs> uh, the dude just keels over anyway, so it's like impossible. Yeah, to I know. This guy. They didn't. They didn't script it to happen. So even if you manage it, okay. Shit! 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 Ah! Uh, fuck! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. You don't have to accept her invitation to fight, do you? Oh, right. Oh! 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 Idiot. Betting for the price of one today, I guess. Right? I'll go. I'm not sure if that's gonna. There it is. Yeah. What? I win. I don't have to enter their stupid chamber. I think it'll just. This. this okay. If they don't confront me, then I think it, it's fine. Oh, now we know how to. Do I get more? I think I get more powerful each time too. I think. See if it holds up. Uh, yeah, maybe it's the teleportation between locations that triggers some kind of strange. Uh, yeah. Um. Ability. Ow. Oh. I. They, they were too busy with the execution. <laughs> Look how big he is. Now their headless body. Ugh. <laughs> that is the creepiest thing. <laughs> that usually doesn't happen. I don't know why he's walking like that. Sometimes there's an animation that doesn't get reset. Like if you're if you toggle immortal mode on your own character and you get beheaded, 
and your animation is permanently stuck in this weird oh, position. Like, you, you'll walk oh, yeah, definitely. Like, I, uh, oh, he's fighting back thing. now. Wow. Yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd run it. too if I saw this happen. The guy's head reattach and then this kind of thing. Yeah. Kind of, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I would say the growing thing, but that kind of happened before they killed him, so they kind of they kind of were fine with that. So if you set him as if you set him as uh, as essential during like right before the execution, then um then they they all just freeze there because he won't die. <laughs> Yield oh, yeah, and I may show mercy, says the giant god. <laughs> the winking skeever, let's go. I have a little, uh, do you pleasure whenever I, I run into an issue where someone, some NPC just gets in the way and kind of pisses me off? Or I use the push actor away console command? Oh my god, that's so. I've never used that. Oh god. Um, How, what's the code for that? I'm gonna try it on her. So you, you gotta get her ID, okay. So you, you do player dot. I believe it's just push actor away. No spaces? Uh, no, no, no spaces. A space and then her ID. Oh, I have to put the ID up you there? To, unfortunately, you gotta type the ID. Um, what was that? Oh, go, oh, here he is, my god. Uh, and, oh, wait, uh, uh, uh -huh. let's see, yeah. Just push up and then a space and then, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. She was now, sitting, ten, so. 10 isn't too bad. Um, <laughs> If you get up to like 40 or 50 or above, it's ridiculous, dude. You could, you could What's watch going on them. Here? And sometimes they'll, they'll like hit a fence and they'll cartwheel in the air, and you could do it again while they're in the air. And it's like it's like a, a batting cage. They're just in front of you, and then they're off into the freaking horizon. Whoa. It's fantastic. What's going on in here? confused by your giant dude that came rampaging in. Is that the guy I had to talk to? Yeah. Good afternoon. I don't know if he'll talk, but there you go. I will answer anything you want to know. Much of this you will need to know to survive. Survive? I thought I couldn't die. You cannot die unless someone takes your head. And in this, the case of another immortal with it, your power. <laughs> yes. Uh, he kind of exited the conversation there, so I don't know. I, I have to talk. I. I guess I had to say something specific to him, but I'm not sure what. Um, well, sometimes. The secret world. It is the time of the gathering. Immortals are drawn to a faraway land to battle each other to the last. It turns out Skyrim is that place. Oh, that's what happened in the show. I remember that. They all went to Skyrim. I have to enter Skyrim, Richie. Stop exiting the conversation. They, they're too busy because because <laughs> of my giant guy. They will keep wanting to run away. Also, I don't have the it's I, don't, I don't have the the silent dialogue mod that makes it easier for for silent dialogue to work properly. So you know that mod. I think that's a requirement for your Dragon City mod or whatever that mod that quest mod is. Oh, I didn't, uh, no, I, I didn't make any third-party dependencies for, for my stuff, but um, I, I do know also that if you have, uh, Why is it... It, when you're making the dialogue trees, you have to make it loop back, Jesus otherwise it will break after uh, the end yeah. of the conversation branch like that. So. It's kind of a pain, uh, even just making that. I, I, I wanna... just found... <laughs> Where is that giant fucker? I want to... <laughs> um, where is he? Everyone's running around. What do you need? I gotta go to Young Valkyrie. Oh, that's my quest. Okay, that's all I had to do. I could, I could find information, but I know a lot about the lore anyway, so. Jean Philippe. <laughs> I don't think I'm the immortal. I think the immortal is somewhere around there. Where? Who just hissed? I can't even tell where they're fighting. No you don't think I'd be able to miss them? If he exits the building, he'll kind of follow you out, or, or God knows. I don't think he's in combat against me. Are they in here? Hey, watch what you're doing. Maybe he's downstairs. Maybe. The lizard guy keeps hissing. 
Yeah, there he is. <laughs> he switches between very brave and very cowardly. I'll wear you as a belt. Ah. You can't hide from me. Come back here. You might kill him. You just ace him out right He's now. saying come back here as the guy says you can't hide from me. <laughs> it's always weird hearing the the, uh, the barks kind of change back and forth. Yeah. Hyper aggressive and then like, ah. <laughs> See, they're both equally scared of each other. It's really funny. No sign of him. <laughs> no sign of him. He disappeared. He, he isn't in the one room that he went to. Let me get my uh, spells. I think I'm going to be a frost lizard. Squizzard. Yeah. Alright. Bane of your own kind, right? Yeah, I have to go to Falk Reef, so... <laughs> Good to see you here. You know what? Um, I'm gonna leave you guys to that. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> How long until you think until the next crash? Do you think I'll crash immediately upon loading? You know, it's not about time to maybe do a hard save with something else, just in case. <laughs> yeah, sure. It should it should auto save when I leave, but I'll do a save too, just in case. Taking a sweet time right now, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to crash immediately. <laughs> That's possible. Well, it just hit the 10 minute mark, so if I was monetized, that could have been an episode. <laughs> you know, the weird thing is, I know Google's pushing that algorithm. I know there's a ton of, there have been a ton of studies about basically 9 to 11 minutes. In 9 or 10 minutes is kind of like the edge of like human attention for a subject, so they. they they try to hone it around that. There's all these reasons why they try to push that kind of thing. But for watching some, uh, some analytics on the duration of videos actually watched, it's interesting to see that even for long videos, the viewership doesn't really stay through the whole thing. That There's this kind of steady die-off rate where people just abandon the mm -hmm. video at some point. And it doesn't, like, very few uh, of, the, of the people, less than 50%, necessarily make it to the end of every 10-minute episode. You have to have a really right? captivating piece of material to have people retain for that long. It's interesting seeing Climb this shift between the, the theoretical ideal time, you know, there have been multiple studies on what uh, generally oh, works, but then in the behavior, like in the context of people watching YouTube videos, and I guess how uh, how easy and fluid it is to just switch to something else on the side, like, okay, I watch two minutes of this, next, two minutes of this, next, two, you know, it, the, the behavior, the actual human behavior in that medium is completely different. Yeah, I think it actually rewires your brain a little bit to have have so many options that you it's hard to focus on any particular 10 minute video when there's so many 10 minute videos that you can just focus on. I, I totally agree. Yeah, and it, it'll be. Would love to see more broad analytics on that. To, you know, if Google actually kind of um, anonymize the video names and broadly, that'd be awesome. I'd love to do like a science dig on that and see like what the relationship is. Get some meta tags in there about. Do you think John Philip will be my ally or my enemy? Uh, Hopefully it's ally so it doesn't force me into combat. Oh, he's in here. Uh, it, it gives me that sound cue that plays in whenever. Jean Philippe. You must Where's be he? one of those wizards from the college. Who You're Jean Philippe. Need something? Let's save. Babe. Oh, it's saved here. I'm just gonna I'm gonna resave on top of the auto save. Yes. Faye, huh? That's that's leave, that's laying on a little thick. You must be new, or you want to be seem so surprised? Do we have business, or can I get back to my adoring women and drink? You were such a bore. <laughs> I guess I was work. mistaken. I could learn from a drunken fool. Nobody insults me. I'm the best swordsman in Falkreath, and I'll I'll have honor satisfied. I will be right back, ladies. Right. Oh, he's oh he's gonna try to kill me. Oh. And you saved right before him. Hey, oh shit! <laughs> oh jeez! Oh jeez! I'm not prepared so to fight, fight these guys. Directly, or then like have two moments of dialogue and then fight him directly. Yeah. Oh shit! Oh. Clever boy. He's How far am I? Look. <laughs> it's cheating. <laughs> I'm a lot faster than them, at least, huh? They look like a bear. Wow, 
Okay, I ain't saving you completely. Right. <laughs> Cause I don't wanna. Yes, why won't I die? You need some binnacles. Oh shit! Ooh, ooh, god! I, uh, god! You're in Falkreath? Yeah. Uh, you're in the southern end. Oh shit! Okay. Um, we get. You're you're not level ten. Okay, you're, you're okay. If you hit uh, if you were level ten and you went the other way, uh, you might be in trouble. Where we're okay. Oh my goodness! Oh shoot! Ooh. Oh, he got me. I think he got me. There can be only one. Uh, is it gonna crash me? I bet it's gonna crash me. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, good, good. Is it? Is it? He'll find a way to crash me somehow. It, it's gotta. Uh, no. Okay. I think you're I still level one though, right? Yeah. Maybe we should uh, <laughs> hold off on the duel still work. Yeah, definitely. Need... Did you something? Yeah. Need something? Hey, you could just like sucker punch your mic. Don't never should have come here. This is a oh, oh shit! Oh shit! I. Oh god! He got me again. <laughs> Maybe my best. There can be only one. Maybe it's crashing me saying there can't be you anymore. You're gone. <laughs> Okay, and we're back. You never would believe what happened. Um, <laughs> get the game again, and we're just back here. Because... We we're so good. We're doing it another time. Let's see. I I know I'm probably being a fool, but um. Oh shit. Ah, I can't. I forgot I can't jump when I'm in combat for some reason. I don't know what type of weird shit that is. <laughs> First 30 seconds already filled with action. I really want to beat this guy. <laughs> you know, it, it is kind of tempting to do that push actor away thing on this guy in the middle of combat, right? Oh, you want to come close to me? Oh, how sad, right? <laughs> now, if you could assign that to a spell to just use on people without without it being based on Unrelenting Force, that would be cool. But yeah, I, I mean, the, the funny thing is, Unrelenting Force itself actually uses a script. Like, the spell itself, like, the actual shout is just a stagger, and there's a script on the last word that actually does the push. Uh oh. The, the exact Even command in Pirates, push actor away. I was like, wait a minute, is that a command too? Like, oh my god, a console? <laughs> yes. And... Love is a burning thing. And it makes a fiery ring. Bound by wild desire I fell into a ring of fire